Hey guys, happy uh, 24th of May weekend. It's Jeff Allen off the gridiron. I'm at my cottage here on Crow Lake. And uh, every time uh, we come back, this is the uh, season opening. And every time we come, I like to visit this this nearby marsh. And with all the flood water, uh, we often, uh, my boys call it, uh, go for a treasure hunt. There's all kinds of washed up garbage left over from the winter. So I've just grabbed a few things. There's an old pail. Uh, another bumper float off uh, off uh, somebody's boat and uh, anyways it's so peaceful in here beaver dam over here some beaver activity muskrats and this is where I like to come hunting in the uh, in the fall as well so we're gonna paddle over to the other side here and uh, see what we find found a big pole of beavers have been chewing on and it's really really great for pulling my way through this this marsh it's nice to come out here uh, this early there the, the black flies haven't started just yet there's no real mosquitoes to speak of the water's pretty cold though it's about 60 degrees and uh, this is always Nice to see it at the beginning of the season because uh, it'll be grown up in no time. It's raining right now, just a light drizzle. You can see different areas where the beaver have been heading up into the tree line and all the new growth starting to come back in. This is a great spot just over here. I, uh, I sit on this island amongst those trees and the ducks come flying into the, the marsh here. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty perfect actually. <laughs> oh, oh, looks like somebody lost part of a dock over here this winter. Looks like the geese and muskrats have been making a making use of that. Get up onto that and get out of the, uh, the weather. Some red winged blackbirds over here just This will all be grown up with rice, uh, <clears throat> wild rice in the near future. That's where all this, most of this dark weed sticking out of the ground, out of the water is. This is normally the spot here I'm able to get in and sit. And ducks and geese fly in from the back, tucked in under cover. Hey, welcome back. Well, I got in off the water, and after my long tour, I found two dock floats and a bunch of plastic bottles that were washed up on shore, brought those back, the big 4x4, four 8 foot long beam that I'm going to put into a, a garden, and I actually caught a, caught a pike, so I want to see <clears throat> just straight up, cut it, head, guts, and throw it on a barbecue with a little bit of 
this. And all that darkness is all the uh, Cajun and onion flavor. So give that a try. And uh, it was a good, successful fish this morning. I've had a, at least one fish every every day since I got here. So we're having a lot of luck with that. I'll let you know how it tastes. And here's the pike on the barbecue. I'm sure when I'm away on alone, I won't have Cajun, but uh, got it, heads and tails. Drop it on the barbecue and about 20 minutes, meat just flakes right off the bone.